It's a bay rum shaving soap all the way from France from Father Lucien. And we're going to shave with it coming up next. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's BarbaraGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Great to see you again. Love getting together and talking all things traditional wet shave. By the way, got a brand new shaving soap to show you. We're going to shave with it, build a lather with it. Really, really terrific, terrific shaving soap. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, we have a brand new shaving soap all the way from France from a gentleman named Cyril who has a company called, well, I cannot really pronounce the French name of this company. I'll try. Le Père Lucien. Something like that. Le Père, Le Père. Lucien, I, I apologize. I do not speak French. I am attempting to pronounce it in French, but it translates to Father Lucien. And that's what I'm going to go with. From Father Lucien, this is their Bay Rum Shaving Soap. This is a marvelous lathering shaving soap. I've already taken it for a test drive, and it is absolutely beautiful. This comes in this terrific vintage kind of container. It's got that kind of yesteryear vibe to it. I love it. Very, very similar to another shaving soap of theirs that I've used, their Italian barbershop shave soap, same kind of container. And this was an absolutely beautiful lathering shave soap. They're similar uh, in that you're going to want to do a brush load from anywhere from 30 seconds to a full minute. I'm doing a full minute and it really, really serves it well. They run works uh, in the same way. You're going to load this for 30 seconds to a full minute. I recommend a full minute, really. Uh, and you <laughs> you will really be astounded at what a wonderful lather this shave soap makes. Now, the scent is bay rum, but it is rather subdued and subtle. It is discreet. It is more refined. It is more elegant than most bay rum soaps you may have used. So it really is not overpowering. It really is a terrific, terrific bay rum scent. Again, it's not on the strong side. It's more elegant. It's more refined. It's more subdued. A little, um, little more discreet, as I say, but uh, very, very enjoyable. And the, uh, the lather is just tremendous because I have already taken it for a test drive. Very, very impressed by it. Now, I talked about the shave soap on the Monday morning mailbag, and my hope uh, my thought was that it was going to, because I did detect a, a subtle, discreet scent when I first opened it up, I thought maybe that adding hot water to the puck would allow it to bloom and come out a little more. Well, not so much. It really is refined and discreet, but nonetheless, a very, very nice bay rum scent in its own way. So we're going to have a shave with this. I'm going to put some hot water on the puck to get some things going. I'm also going to put some hot water in my brush scuttle right here so I can keep the, uh, the shave brush nice and warm and that lather nice and warm. We're going to be using my Jekyll Coronadeo. Corendio. Jekyll Corendio. <laughs> I believe it's how it's pronounced. And uh, this is a terrific shave brush. This was recommended by viewer Bob Leroux. Thank you very much, Bob. It is a terrific shave brush, a lot of bang for the buck. So we're going to be using that as well. My razor is going to be the Hurricane Razor from Global Shave Clubs International. I uh, reviewed this recently and was very, very impressed with it. 4.2 ounces, steel handle, noble brass, razor head, very much in the style of an Edwin Jagger uh, razor. And uh, boy, it just did a terrific job. I have got a uh, Wizomet Super Iridium razor blade already installed in there. This will be my second use of that razor blade. And as you can see, the balance and alignment on this are spot on. And of course, the end tabs of the razor blade are enclosed in the razor head. So that's the Wizomet Super Iridium razor blade that I'll be using in this razor. Uh, we're going to finish it off with uh, an Allen block 
from Parker. This is uh, an Allen block that I've had for uh, some time, and I've got the uh, Phoenix Shaving No Slip Grip uh, surrounding that there. So that's what we're going to use in the way of an Allen block. And to finish it off post shave after the Allen block, uh, I'm going to go to um, Phoenix Shaving with their Atomic Age Bay Rum Aftershave and Cologne and the Atomic Age Bay Rum uh, Star Jelly, their aftershave balm for upstairs. So that's what we got going on right now uh, for this particular shave. Uh, really, really looking forward to it. Gonna really load this brush for a good full minute. And we're gonna get to that uh, in just a little bit. Let me put some hot water on the puck, hot water in my brush scuttle. We'll uh, give that the equivalent of about a nice hot shower to kind of set things up. And we'll be right back to start the shave. So hang in there with me. Okay, that's been the equivalent of a nice hot shower. So we've got everything ready here to go. Now I'm not going to use any kind of pre-shave because I just want to show you the performance of the soap by itself. All right, so you know what? Let's just take this hot water that I have here on top of the puck here. And we're going to just go ahead and use that little bit of bloom water there in the sink. All right, let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. All right, very, very good. Okay, here's my brush right here. All right, and we're going to go ahead and load this for a full minute. I have my timekeeping assistant right over there. Hey, Alexa, how you doing? I'm all right. Thanks so much for asking. Great. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just load this brush for one minute. And I'm going to put a little more water on that brush. Just a little more. There we go. Okay. So we're going to just load this brush for one minute and really get this going. And it will really turn into a really nice, creamy uh, load for a nice, beautiful lather. And again, it's a nice, very refined bay rum scent. It is coming out a little more now that I'm working it into a lather. And perhaps uh, as you use this soap more and more, the scent will become a little more defined too. That's really, that's really, really nice. It does have a, a nice, refined, uh, elegant note to it uh, as far as bay rums go. Really, really terrific. It makes me want to get the uh, bay rum aftershave that they also offer uh, online at their uh, website. I will... That's it, really? Wow, that's a minute already? Alexa, how much time is left? Your one minute timer is ringing. Wow, there that's... There are no other timers set. Wow, that is... <laughs> Alexa, stop. That's something. Wow, okay, so we have this all set. So let me close the door. Okay, I'm going to wet the face one more time, though. Okay, let me wet the face one more time. I want a little more extra water up there. Love, love, love this tin. Love it, love it. Well, here we go. Oh, that's marvelous. You can see already, it's just starting to develop. I mean, it's just instantly. That one minute, and I'm going to get a little more water, just a little more. It's always good to add water rather than not. That is to say, it's better to add water than to have to add soap. And I've got a really nice, nice brush load here. And it's a nice, rich, creamy. Again, the scent, the Bay Rum scent, is Really nice and subtle, not overpowering, but it's definitely there. And I think with each use, it's going to get better and better and better because the instructions say to leave the lid off, let the soap get harder. And I think that just allows the soap to improve with time. Do not put the lid back on. That's what they say. And that's how... This came about because I emailed the company and Cyril very kindly 
answered my question and said, hey, by the way, I've got some other shaving soaps. Would you like to try them? I said, sure. And he, this came along with two others. And whoa, lather, how about that? That is marvelous. Look at that. And I tell you, that's fantastic. And I don't mind. Oh, man, is that great. And this brush did a nice job. It's a, it's a nice brush for the money. And I, I've got, I've got plenty on the knot. I'm going to put it into my, my skull there where, where it will stay nice and warm. I've got a towel here to wipe off my hands just in case. Anyhow, uh, I don't mind, uh, loading the brush for a minute. It allows you to just really enjoy the shave, savor that time for the wet shave rather than rushing through it. It'll, it really, it's a nice change of pace and allows you to slow down and just enjoy the shave. So I really enjoy uh, loading uh, the brush uh, and getting ready and anticipating, kind of like delayed gratification, anticipating building that lather. Love it. Absolutely love that. All right, so uh, here's my razor right here with the Wisimet Super Iridium Razor Blade. Gonna run under some hot, 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 hot water. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that's nice. Boy, that's beautiful glide. That's marvelous. I have about one day's worth of beard growth. The glide and the slickness are exceptional with these shaving soaps. This is really, really wonderful. Terrific. That's really, really, really terrific. Marvelous. As I recall from my review of this, the uh, this 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 razor does a nice job of getting up underneath the nostrils. Oh yeah, it did a nice job. Got the majority of them. Very, 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 very nice. All right, first pass done, let's rinse. Terrific, terrific, terrific first pass. Uh, I'm right in the socially acceptable shave range. Did a nice job, but boy, there's a lot of nice protection. Wonderful glide, really, really nice slickness. And uh, if I, if I, if I can tell, if I, I've, I've said it before, but the scent again is a nice, nice, subtle, refined bay rum scent. It's not overpowering at all. And look how much I have here on the brush to bring this lather back. Second pat, look at that, isn't that, that's marvelous. Look at that. Now I used a, um, I used my Star Wisp brush for my first shave with the, um, with this shave soap. And the Star Wisp, Star Wisp brush did a wonderful job. So in a way I'm taking, uh, somewhat of a, how uh, I would say a, just a just a slight step down in this brush. It's a good brush, but it's not as good as the Star Wisp or some of the other Phoenix shaving brushes. But I wanted to show you how well this shave soap lathers, even with a brush uh, at this price point. It just does a wonderful, wonderful job. This shave soap is wonderful. The key again 
is just to make sure you load it for a full minute. Really, really build that cream in that shaving tin there and then go right ahead to a face lather. It's marvelous. I've got plenty on the brush here. If I want to do um, a third pass, we'll see if we need a third pass or not. The shave is probably on par with a lot of other shaves. The first pass is good, socially acceptable. Uh, second pass is my money pass. This is where I usually uh, know whether or not I'm going to need a third pass, a touch up, that sort of thing. But this razor is doing a wonderful job and the shaving soap is providing so much great protection. Love the scent. Again, a wonderful scent, but the richness, the creaminess of it, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Wonderful glide, wonderful slickness. So this probably will be the final pass in the shape. We'll see. Let's go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Marvelous. Now, I can do that because there's a lot of slickness there to let me kind of do a little bit of a buff touch up there. Doing a nice job of getting those little bits up underneath the nostrils. Really, really terrific, terrific. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. I'm done. <laughs> That's a marvelous shave. That is really, really wonderful. Oh, yeah, that's terrific. That is great. Really, really, really nice shave. Nice, smooth, close. The shave soap did a wonderful job in giving me some nice protection. Really nice slickness. Great, great creamy, creamy lather. Um, wonderful thick carpet of creamy, rich lather. Just terrific. We're going to go ahead and do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm lather. Here's my form. Here's my warm lather rinse. Here's my warm water rinse. Yeah, there's a lot of slickness there that I had to remove, really. A lot of slickness. All right, I flipped it to the cold water side. I'm going to do my cold water rinse here. Just waiting for it to get a little colder. Yeah, there it is. Cold water rinse to close my pores. Ah, that's marvelous. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. What a nice shave. <laughs> oh, wow. That's just marvelous. And again, the scent is subdued, elegant, discreet, does not overpower at all. I mean, I like it. It's really terrific. And again, if my hunch is correct, it's going to get better and better with each shave.
Boy, that's a nice shave. Make sure I get everything off here. I've had viewers tell me after a shave if I miss a miss a, a, a little bit of lather on the top of my ear or on the back of my neck here. Hey, you missed that. I'm trying to get them all. Ah, marvelous. Really, really terrific shave. Wonderful post-shave feel. This shave soap has a great post-shave feel in that right now I could go out the door and I'm okay. They, it has some beautiful, beautiful moisturizing qualities to it. Really, really terrific. My skin feels wonderfully moisturized. It feels I mean, like I had a really, really nice, nice shave without any irritation, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation, nothing like that. Really feels great. But we're going to go ahead and uh, use the alum block here and run this under some uh, cold water and uh, see what we get in the way of uh, uh, zinging, stinging, that sort of thing. All right, here we go. Nice and large with some good surface area there. Oh, yeah, that's smooth. Smooth as ice. No stinging, no zinging, just a nice bracing from the alum and the alum block. Oh, that's terrific. But the post-shave feel after the shave with the shaving soap alone is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Now, again, uh, I'm going to have to... Uh, get some of the aftershave, the Bay Rum aftershave to match this shave soap. I think uh, that'll really be, uh, it'll complement it nicely is what I mean to say. Okay, I wipe this off. I'm going to put it in my case right there. That's my Parker case right there. I haven't used this, uh, I mean, I've used it in the past, this Allen Block, but it's nice to pull it out and kind of change things up a little bit. All right, so here is my, oh, actually, you know let's take a look at the shaving brush again. I have enough here for a third pass. Look at this. Now look. Now look at this. I always love to do this. Look. Look at that. Isn't that marvelous? Isn't that marvelous? Like I say, I love this shave soap. I, it's just rich and creamy. It just feels great. Great moisturizing qualities. Absolutely wonderful. And again, the Bay Rum scent, it's not an overpowering Bay Rum scent. Uh... Think uh, discreet, think subtle, think refined, uh, think elegant. That's the kind of scent it is. I do have a, uh, a feeling, though, that as time goes on and you leave the lid off, as they recommend, and the soap gets harder, I do have this hunch that uh, it's going to become um, a little more distinct, but not overpowering. It'll just kind of grow and bloom slowly over time. That's my hunch. Right now, it's fine, but I just think that it's the kind of, uh, it's kind of like a fine wine. It's going to age well. Let me put it to you that way. That's, that's the way I, that's the way it impresses me, but it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. I like it a lot. Now, Let's go ahead and use some of the Atomic Age Bay Rum from Phoenix Shaving because uh, this this Bay Rum, I use this Bay Rum for the, for the introductory shave, my test drive shave, and this went well with it. This has a little more of a, of, of a Bay Rum scent than the shave soap, but you know what, that's okay. Uh, for our purposes, that's fine. I'm following up with the Bay Rum scent, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of the uh, Star Jelly here. This is a little bit runny for some reason. Okay, I've had it a while, but that's still good. Still good. Okay, there it is. Okay, oh yeah, that's absorbing nicely. Great, great shave. Wonderful shave. This shave soap is... Marvelous. I absolutely love the uh, Father Lucien shave soaps. Uh, in particular, I like these uh, shave soaps that are in this, this tin here, the Italian barbershop shave soap. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> wipe it off because it makes so much lather. It does overflow 
and it is just, I mean, look at all the cream I still have in there. It's just marvelous. And again, I am going to leave the uh, lid off as recommended. Uh, but uh, I absolutely love this. Just love it. Love the uh, the scent. Love the richness of it, the creaminess of it. Uh, makes a great, great uh, lather. Wonderful lather. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. A beautiful shave today with Father Lucian Bay Rum Shave Soap. Uh, boy, this is definitely a favorite now. And, uh, I, I, you know, since starting this wet shaving journey and viewers telling me about the different artisan soaps that are out there, and especially the Bay Rum soaps, I've tried some from Sterling. Uh, I've tried, well, sample from Sterling. I've tried Captain's Choice. I've tried a couple of Bay Rums from um, Phoenix Shaving, Mama Bear, I believe. Did they send me a Bay Rum? I can't remember. Um, but I've tried other Bay Rum soaps out there, and they're all very, very good. This is another nice Bay Rum, uh, all unto itself. It has a very distinct, refined, delicate, discreet quality that I really, really do like. Uh, it's not a Bay Rum that hits you over the head. I'll be perfectly honest with you. If you're looking for a strongly scented Bay Rum shave soap, this is not it. Uh, this is, again, more subdued, more subdued, more discreet, uh, refined, elegant. Uh, that's the way I look at it. But I think it is going to uh, develop. Like I say, it's going to age well like a fine wine over time. Really, really terrific. Really, really enjoyed the shave with uh, Father Lucien Bay Rum. My thanks to Cyril and everyone at Father Lucien for sending this along all the way from France. Thank you very much, Cyril. I really do appreciate it. And I will have links to uh, the Father Lucien website where you can get this yourself. It, there, it's also available at other online outlets, and I will provide those links for you as well. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog. For my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. For all things Barbus, check out Big Dude Barbus. I'll have the room below. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's rating, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.